There is a popular belief that entering a talent slash singing competition will help to elevate one's status in the music industry, but that couldn't be further from the truth. How many winners of these shows we see go on to have lavish music careers, or becoming widely known after being popular on their talent show season, which is really reality TV at this point. Don't get me wrong, yes there are some who won their season and become household names, but they are far and few. Over the years and the rise of talent shows, it's been publicized how producers also manipulate their contestants, like hyping up bad performers, gassing them up while knowing they won't pass the first stage, for high ratings and memorable horrible highlights for shits and giggles, which does nothing but humiliate their contestants while only the show profits. And let's not forget about how these singing slash talent shows trap their contestants in ridiculous contracts while they don't have control over what they say or release. Everything has to be approved by the organization or face penalties. If you want to enter one of these shows, I'd say know what you're getting yourself into because it's not all glitz and glamour. Many aspiring singers try out and compete in competition shows as a way to kickstart their career, only to realize it's all about the show and the judges. In 2023, aspiring singer Trey Lewis auditioned for American Idol. He performed a rendition of Whiskey Meyer's song, Stone. During the February 26th episode, after his emotional performance, Trey was asked why he auditioned for Idol by Luke Bryan. Trey then revealed he was a student at the Santa Fe High School in May 2018 when a man opened fire, 10 people, and wounding 13 more. In the feedback portion of the audition, Katy Perry would then burst out crying in the audition. Our country has failed us. This is not okay. You should be singing here because you love music. I hope that you remind people that we have to change because you know what, I'm scared too. Now, I'm sure most will agree that Trey's backstory was incredibly emotional and sad. However, many saw Katy Perry's outbursts, although reasonable, all the attention was stared onto the pop star instead of the contestant, and Katy Perry crying is what people remember. Also, the producers of the show could have removed or edited her scene, but they kept it for ratings. And it's things like these that make a lot of people do not take shows like Idol serious anymore. And let's not forget when former American Idol judges Nicki Minaj and Mariah Carey were beefing on the show, completely taking all the attention from the contestants. When you do the this Hollywood, is what I deal with when, when you I do come into my job. Oh no, boo, because you ain't got nothing like me. Wait, but, um, when what junior high are we in now? What junior high is this? When you go to Hollywood, you, exactly, when you, all right, well, you should have never commented on that. Because <laughs> exactly that. Now, exactly oh, this that. Is this is what I deal with. Why are you in my face? Why are you in my face? This is crazy. This is fun and dysfunction. I can't help no, her. Maybe I should just get off the piano. Every word That's she said idea. was a yodel. What do you think that fits in? Let me get off the piano. Nikki's mad. It. She's walking out. That was my move. I was going to do that the next time she I was going to walk me. out. Shut the than the usual Angie, lost in the moment of playing, and that's why I cannot wait till we get to do 2014,000 songs. Oh, oh, so oh, 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 no, so you uh, must think that I agree with oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, agree with yeah, the yeah. entire panel okay. in saying, again, okay. back to the Billboard Hot 100 number one song, which you just performed, which is difficult to get, not everybody has that. <laughs> to their credit, to your credit, you did a great job, so Thank keep you. on singing, and next time I was talking about it, just Now, I want to transition to Zoe Alexander, aka the Pink Impersonator. Zoe Alexander TV competition story is a prime example of how these TV shows fabricate storylines and also humiliates their competitors for shock value to ranking views. The show didn't just humiliate Zoe, it ruined her life. In Zoe's 2012 audition for the British X Factor, Zoe stated that she was a pink impersonator, but she wants to branch into her own person. So it was a bit of a shock when she started to sing So What, a song by Pink. 
while being very expressive and cartoony-like. During her performance, she was stopped because the judges thought she sounded very average. However, the judges decided to give Zoe another chance and to sing a different song. While sounding average again, per the judges, they stopped her again and basically told her she didn't make the cut. Nice. Footage then showed Zoe throwing a temper tantrum, cursing out the show, knocking down camera and other equipment, and hurling the mic in the direction of the judges. I tried to help her. You did. You said come back as Zoe. So we gave her a second song. She got the same chance everyone else got. Zoe's audition would accumulate millions of views on YouTube and would be dubbed one of the worst auditions from The X Factor. Now after everyone went on with their day, remembering Zoe's audition as one of the worst and years have passed, Zoe Alexander would drop a bombshell on YouTube. Tim and Cal's X Factor is not a fair competition. In fact, it's not a competition at all. Thames TV and Sony Records decide who will be successful long before the auditions take place. Explaining how the X Factor forced her to perform a pink song, even dictating the mood for her performance, although she told the producers that she wanted to perform as herself. Zoe also stated that they edited parts of her video, making it look like she threw the mic towards the judges when she only dropped the mic. Then I realized that they turned the microphone off, and that was when I threw it to the floor. And I, I threw it like this to the floor, but somehow in, in the video, I threw it like that. And I didn't, I, I threw it to the floor because I was just disgusted. And inserted certain reactions that did not even happen to make her look worse. Like the chairs from her performance, those were muted while she was performing, then played when the judges were criticizing her. Zoe also revealed that the show told her to beg for another chance if the judges said no to her after singing her pink song. Also, the backing track played for her second song was in a different key and a different track completely from what she sent them. So it totally threw her off further, showing how the show wanted her to look bad. Also, when she performed So What, as soon as the song started playing, the stage monitors were turned off so she couldn't hear anything. Zoe also exposed that when she was being interviewed, they kept asking her about Pink. Question like, does she know Pink's real name? Or, do you think you were Pink in a real life? Dumb shit like that. Even asking Zoe if she thought Pink was bullied in school. The X Factor producer during this interview insisted on persistently referencing Pink, no matter what subject he was questioning me about. I began to question whether or not who I actually was had any relevance. This line of relentless comparison to Pink went on for at least an hour. By the end of the interview, I became exasperated and upset as it seemed the whole thing revolved around Pink and that anything that was actually about me personally was irrelevant. I ended the interview tearful and frustrated. Even though the interview lasted for more than an hour, the X Factor producers chose to show a few seconds from the end of the interview showing me tearful and upset, depicting me as an emotional fool. As soon as that interview ended, I was whisked up to see Caroline Flack straight away. I went upstairs to another little room. I went in. There was Caroline Flack and a cameraman. And... I think she could see that I was visibly upset at this point and she asked me if I was okay. I said I was okay but I was really thirsty because we hadn't had a drink in, in hours. No, no one was allowed to go out for any reason. So we provided emails she sent to the X Factor producers of five songs she wanted to sing and none of them included a song by Pink. In her video, Zoe explained she was told if she didn't sing a song by Pink, she wouldn't be chosen to be on the show. But they did it in an appealing way to successfully get her on board. It was also noted that Zoe received a 6am call time, but when they arrived at the location, no one was there, and when staff arrived hours later, they were confused why she came so early. Zoe and her family was eventually escorted to a room with other contestants, where they waited for a long time without being permitted to leave for water or food. 
Now, Zoe got a lot of backlash from the audition after it was released. She was bullied in public for years because of the X Factor. I just, I tried to just get on with my life. I thought, I can't just sit and wallow, I'm gonna try and get on with it. And I, I, I live in a, quite a small town where people know each other. But everywhere I went, it, there was just constant reminders of that day. People would stare at me and laugh at me. And I would go in the post office and the old lady behind the counter that I would normally have a nice chat with didn't want to speak to me anymore and would just give me dirty looks and scowl at me. I'd go to the gym and people would watch the video on their phones in front of me and then whisper and laugh. It was just everywhere I went, there was no getting away from it. It didn't matter what, what I did, where I went, everything was just a constant reminder of that day because I was famous. People said to me, oh, don't worry, it'll blow over, it won't last forever. And it lasted for years and years and years. It didn't just blow over to this day. Now, the X Factor started to get backlash after they were exposed by Zoe resulting in the show removing the audition video altogether. And yes, you can still watch a video because it has been re-uploaded by other users and they never gave like an public apology, which would be really, you know, warranted in my opinion. But hey, they, the show has been canceled. While doing research for this video, I've found a lot of videos of people who've been on singing TV talent shows, giving their experience. One of those is by this guy named Bradley, a singer and YouTuber. In his video he posted back in 2018, Bradley exposed the fakeness of the shows he was on, X Factor and American Idol. In the video, he explained that he got discovered off YouTube by someone from the X Factor. The scout called him from the X Factor and asked him to send them a video of him singing. So he sent them the video and he got a call back from a producer of the show. Now. I did have to check if he was at least telling the truth because no offense, I don't know the guy. I was able to find a video, X Factor interview video of him, so we do know he was on the X Factor. But here's the thing, before I went on stage, they had these pre-interviews where they set me up with like these other people and they kind of would tell us what to say to each other and be like, okay, tell us how you're feeling. Um, are you nervous? Like, are you confident? Blah, 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 blah. Maybe you should say something like this. Talk about this. And they basically were trying to set up scenarios where I had this interview with this other girl who, um, she wasn't good. Uh, she went on stage and got all nose and got like, yeah, she wasn't good. But they were, but she was really confident. So what they were trying to do was make me seem like a not very confident kid and I was gonna go out and do really good and she was a really confident girl and she was gonna go out and tank. So that's how they were trying to set up the TV show. Remember, this is all a TV show. The number one thing behind all of this, it's a TV show. For anybody auditioning for these shows, it is a TV show. They don't care about you, they don't care about your feelings, they don't care about your life, they're trying to put on a television show, and you are cast. He then went on in the video saying that at the boot camp stage after he was flown to Louisiana after sending in his video only to be cut from the show without even singing for the judges again. He also said that that was like the big thing of that season where they had over 100 people but not everyone would get to move on. So he and others thought they were good, you know, would at least get to sing again. And then they were all told that no, they will all be sent home. I think Tyra did something like that before as well on her show, America's Next Top Model. Pretty fucked up. Now when it came to Idol, his Idol audition, he did an industry audition meaning he didn't went to what he calls the cattle audition, which is what we see on TV but he again was casted by the same person who called him from the X Factor and sent him straight to the executive producers for Idol who he auditioned for and they gave him the golden ticket for the show. So it's not just the contestants they deceive but the audience as well. Bradley said that the American Idol producers were also rude to him and other contestants. They also had them singing for hours without rest then wanted them to sing again which was at that point they were all exhausted and this was done allegedly for drama. 
um, came in and said, All right now start your guys' preparation for tomorrow. And we're like, it's one o'clock, like, we're all dead. Everybody's exhausted, nobody can sing because they've been like singing all day and I've been nervous because they were singing, trying to like stay in the competition or whatever. Fast forwarding the whole situation, we didn't make it through group night. We were really, really bad and that was basically the end of our run. It, it was just, it was like a crazy experience that I'll never forget and this is the reason why I'll never do a TV show again because I will not be treated the way that American Idol treated me. I want to talk about the contracts these shows have their competitors signs. In these contracts, contestants literally sign their lives away to these shows. And even after the show has ended, the show can use their image in any manner they wish. It was revealed in X Factor contracts that X Factor contestants must hand over the rights to their performances, including to be used in non-English speaking markets. So they can literally dub you for any country, any language. Contestants' image or likeness can be used or transmitted throughout the universe. So not just on Earth, but even on Mars, which got me thinking. Also, to sign recording and management agreement based on independent legal advice provided by one of the three lawyers introduced by the company. And there's also a gag order where they cannot speak to media without permission. American Idol 11 seasons winner Philip Phillips filed a lawsuit against 19 Entertainment, the production company for American Idol, slamming them as oppressive and fatally conflicted, believing that they are in fact damaging his creative future. In 2015, Phillips released an official petition filing against the alleged restrictive nature of his contract that was awarded to him as the major prize for winning American Idol back in May 23, 2012. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Phillips' petition claims that 19 Entertainment have con continually withheld information on his intellectual property and marketing matters relating to his records. For example, the title of Philip's most recent album was decided without his approval and then was announced in the press without Philip's being given any notice in advance. In addition to this, Philip claims to not have been informed of agreements made by 19 Entertainment confirming his live appearance on various television shows like Letterman and Ellen to the Today Show and various music award shows in the US. The petition also claimed 19 Entertainment took a larger share of his earnings. The petition tells of an example where Phillips was forced to perform a corporate event for an insurance company, which was instead labeled by 19 Entertainment as an endorsement deal, which meant that under his contract merchandise agreement, 19 Entertainment were able to take a whopping 40% commission for his performance. Phillips closes his petition by penning that he is grateful for the opportunity by American Idol. The value that the fans and the show have given my career is not lost on me. However, I have not felt that I have been free to conduct my career in a way that I am comfortable with. I look forward to being able to make my own choices about my career and being able to make great music and play it for my fans. After that, then some crusty dusty musty spokesperson for 19 Entertainment replied to The Hollywood Reporter stating, We're very proud of everything we've accomplished together with Phillips, working closely to help nurture his extraordinary talent and advance his career. We have always acted in the best interest of Philip. We will vigorously defend ourselves from any baseless claims to the contrary and from any attempt to interfere with our rights and relationships. Now, the case has been settled since 2017, but still, the audacity. After that, the past Idol winner was able to sign with a different label after fulfilling his contractual duties with 19 Entertainment and its affiliates. One of the biggest misconceptions and narrative pushed by these shows is how the winners will go on to being big stars after winning but this is rarely the case. Look at Tessan Chin. She won season five of The Voice and was mentored by Maroon 5 member Adam Levine during the show. But after her win, her career never went anywhere and her appearance and time spent on The Voice has been her career peak thus far. Winning The Voice doesn't guarantee anything really. Yeah, they might give you some money and hand you a recording contract, but 
TV shows like The Voice, they know nothing about the music industry and what they know is TV and all that exist in that world are where their expertise lies, not music. And it seems like you fare better if you end up not winning. Look at Morgan Wallen. He had one of the biggest songs last year, last night. And Melanie Martinez also went on The Voice. They didn't win, but they managed to have a successful career afterwards. And look at American Idol. They have like four or five people that made it big after out of a pool of 20 others or so that we don't even remember. Shows like The Voice, Idol, and The X Factor have mainly one objective, not to produce world-class talent that can be unleashed in the real music world to compete at a mainstream industry level, but to produce a high, drama-filled TV show. Thank you for watching the video, hope you enjoyed it. Now, I know talent shows are not going anywhere because people will continue to watch it and I don't blame anyone for watching. Let me know if you would still want to be in one of these shows, like if you have talent, do you have talent? Like, do you feel like you would still enter one of these shows, whether Idol or X Factor? Well, the X Factor is now canceled, so the voice. <laughs> Well, but yeah, would you enter a TV singing slash talent show? Because, because as I said, a lot of people who win these shows, they don't go anywhere. We don't hear about them anymore. Also, I don't know, but I think a lot of these shows have lost what made them special. And part of it is the expectations of making it watchable over and over. They want people to keep watching but I think it's just played out. Kelly Clarkson is probably peak idol, although I don't really remember too much of it, but it was just a lot more fresh back in the day. And yeah, I just see it now. It just feels like they're beating a dead, tired, fully pop down horse. Anyway, like the video and subscribe. Also, you can uh, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, links below. I am Don, your pop culture boy. And I will see you in the next one.